Hey everyone and welcome back to another Bisect Hosting server tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to go over how to install mods on a 7 days to die server. We will first go over how to install it server side, then we will go over how to install those mods client side. Before we get started, adding mods can potentially corrupt existing save files, so we suggest you check the mod description to verify save compatibility. Also, some mods may not be compatible with easy anti-cheat. If you want to learn how to disable that, I will have a video linked in the description. Lastly, we are going to use an FTP client that we are using to transfer files to our 7 Days to Die server. If you do not know how to connect your server to an FTP client, I will have a video linked in the description going over how to do so. First, we're going to download a mod from 7 Days to Die Mods.com. Keep in mind when downloading a mod, it must match the server version that you're on. Once we've downloaded that mod, we need to extract it by going to the files, right clicking it, and choosing extract all. We will now minimize this folder to use later in the tutorial. Now we need to log into our Bicycle Toasting Games panel and choose our 7 days to die server. And then we need to choose the stop button to stop the server. Now that the server is stopped, we need to log into our server using our FTP client. Once we've logged in, we are going to right click on the server root and choose new directory. This new directory will be named mods and the M in mods must be capitalized. We are then going to open the window minimized earlier and we are going to drag and drop that extracted folder into this mods folder on the server. Once those files are fully transferred over, which may take a few minutes depending on how big the mod is, we can go back to our Bicycle Hosting Games panel, start the server, and we will have installed the mods on our 7 days to die server. We will now go over how to install these mods client side. First, we're going to download a mods from 7 days to die mods.com. Keep in mind it must match the server version when you're installing it. We then need to right click the mod and choose extract all to extract the file. Once that's extracted, we can minimize this folder to use later in the tutorial. From the Steam library, we are going to right click 7 days to die and we're going to hover over manage and select Browse Local Files. From here, we are going to right click and create a new folder. And we are going to name this folder Mods with a capital M. Now we can open the minimized folder from earlier and we can drag and drop that mod from the folder into the Mods folder. Once that's moved over, you can now launch 7 Days to Die and you have installed mods on your 7 Days to Die client. If you have any questions, check out our knowledge base, bisecthosting.com slash KB, or you can submit a support ticket on our website. If this guide was helpful, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe for more content like this, comment down below which guide you would like to see next, and we'll see you around.